Starting from boot animation, the boot animation looks quite unique. Even the boot time is decent compared to other ROMs. From very first boot, you get pixel launcher and a launcher named Launcher. Launcher is a different kind of launcher which lets you customize your icons. So, to review this ROM, I'm going to use OnePlus One, but you can relate this review to any other smartphone. This ROM is based on latest Android 7.1.2 and I flashed this ROM because it was my favorite ROM for STC I made in Lollipop times. I used this ROM in STC I made for straight 8 months because it was awesome ROM, it gave me features, customization and a very good camera. Now let's find out how this ROM performs in 2017. First of all, we'll talk about awesome features this room provides. All the features are packed in one tab called Venom and along with that you get another tab called Themes. In that you will find color engine. Now different color actions make your phone unique and more useful. Before this feature was exclusive to Paranoid Android Room, but not anymore. There are plenty of light and dark colors available to theme your phone. So in the features tab you will find status bar customization, notification panel, recent menu, network traffic indicators, gestures and animations customization. And each week you will find new features added with each update. Speaking of updates, this ROM supports OT updates so it's easier for you to update your ROM without going into TWRP recovery yourself. Considering the amount of features this ROM offers, the battery life on this ROM is pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's better than Sultan's ROM, but it's not less also. I have been using YouTube all day with 4G on and I got almost 5 hours of screen on time. If you use your Wi-Fi all the time, I'm pretty sure this ROM will give you 6 to 7 hours of screen on time. When it comes to camera, you will get Snapdragon camera in this room, very fast, quick to auto focus, the picture quality is decent, but low light performance is better than stock camera. It can shoot in 4K UHD and also slow motion at 120fps. Have a look at some photos I took with this camera. There was some random reboot with this room but with latest update everything is fixed now. I have yet to have single F4 close, at least for me this room is super stable and has been working amazingly well as my daily driver. Also RAM management is outstanding, charging speed is faster than other rooms like Lineage OS. For OnePlus One many people are complaining about slow charge in custom rooms. Well I charge my phone from 0 to 100% in less than 90 minutes. So for awesome features, substandard theme engine and a very good battery life, I'm going to give this ROM 4.5 out of 5. This ROM is available for many phones like Redmi Note 4, LG, Samsung phones, Nexus phones and obviously OnePlus devices and all the download links will be in the description box below. So that's it for today, comment below and let me know which room review you want to see next on this channel. Like this video if you appreciate my work and subscribe if you are new. This is Naya signing out and I will see you next time.